it's Anne from the Useless Crafter. So this is a special request um, to make these girls, there's a, a bunch of them. So we're gonna do today, we're gonna do Rainbow Dash. Um, so this file came in like this. I think that with so many different colors and um, so many moving pieces that it's easier to do one girl at a time. So let's just ungroup this one and delete this. And we have our, our girl. Um, and let's shoot for 30 inches. Let's see. I love this file and I'm going to just zoom out for a second so we can see her. I love this file because it's broken up into different colors. So the longest piece on here that I see are her legs, right? So um, we want to keep the legs at 11 and a half inches or less. And then that way this is 11 inches. This is another 11 inches and then a little bit here and there. Hopefully we can get to 30, 30 inches without any problems. So let's ungroup this and see where we are at 30 inches. Okay, so we're going to ungroup it and then we're going to click on her legs, which is the yellow. And let's go to contour. So contour, we're going to hide everything. We just want the leg. We want to see how long the leg is. So the leg right now is 10.3 and the whole thing is 30 inches. So let's grab the whole thing and let's bump it up to 33 inches. <laughs> let's see how far we can go. Now the reason why I went 33 inches and not 34, 35 is that 33 inches, I know we're going to we're gonna use 11 by 11, well we're using 12 by 12 cardstock and I'm going to cut that down to 11 by 11 because the Cricut can only cut 11 and a half by 11 and a half and I don't want to deal with half inches. So that means 11 plus 11 plus 11 is 33. So either I go 33 or I feel like the next one up, like I'm going to go something like 40, not 34 inches. Because for one inch, and then we got to bring in a lot more cardstock. It's just blah. <laughs> so, okay, let's look at this. At 33 inches, let's look at her leg. And her leg is 11.4. It's perfect. It was meant to be 33 inches. So, and 33 inches is really sizable. So if you can see behind me, 30 inches would be Rainbow Bright and the LOL doll. The big Cinderella and the big Snow White, those are 48 inches. So four feet tall, just to give you some reference. My daughter is five and a half and she's just a little bit under those two girls. So you can see how big everything is, but at 30 inches or even 24 inches. So my Cinderella is 26 inches, I think. So they're still really big on the cake table. Um, they photograph really well. So I would say anything from like 24 to 30 inch range is pretty golden. So, all right, enough of my preaching. So we've decided on 33, right? So I'm just gonna delete this and bring her back in because we were kind of contouring and all of that. So just click on that. Um, let's ungroup it so that we can get rid of Twilight Sparkle. <laughs> and then Rainbow Dash, we're going to make 33 inches. All right, so let's, and I'm going to save it, Rainbow Dash, 33 inches, just so that I can remember in case this goes down or something, we need to redo it. All right, a few things that I want to point out that while we're looking at this, okay? So there's a lot of colors and they're just, you know, like here's an orange, a red, a yellow. They're all big pieces by itself, nothing to do there, right? But what I do see is down here, this yellow, these are two pieces. I would weld, I would bring in a little circle or a square right here and turn that two pieces into one. I would do the same with a, with a shoe and on this one too. Anywhere where we can reduce the number of pieces down because You've got a lot of pieces going on right here. So, um, and while they're big, it won't be that hard. It's just still a lot of pieces to keep track of. And so where we can reduce, we should. Um, the other thing that I want to point out is, and we can see this better in color sync. So in color sync, these are all the different colors that we're using. And you see right here, there are four shades of blue that we're using. I don't know if all four is necessary. I almost feel like, so this is the arm, and then what is this? Oh, this is her hair and something. And then these are her shoes and the guitar. Um, I'm tempted to move one of these 
but that's going to be up to you. So this, like I said, this is a special request. I'm just showing the design space tutorial. I actually won't be making it. So if you want to move these things, the way I would do it is like, for instance, the eyes, I would make the eyes purple. I don't think this shade makes any difference. So I'm grabbing it and just dropping it there. So now my eyes are purple, it matches the little purple here. Um, I feel like the only place you could really do that next would be the blues because there's so many blues. Um, uh, yeah, this guitar and this part, I don't know. It's going to be up to you. But all right, that's, that's the only thing I'm going to change are the eyes because I want to show you how to do that. Let's go back into layers. Let's go over here and let's start ungrouping things, okay? So here's the orange. Um, you know, we can't cut it as is unless you have a 12 by 24 piece of orange cardstock, but it's so wasteful because it's going to cut like this. We don't want all, all this empty space. So you're going to bring in a square and we're going to slice out each one of these pieces, okay? Make the square really big and we'll slice out that lightning bolt, okay? So we're going to grab the orange and the square because you can only slice two things at one time and that's the orange square and you can tell that you can do that because you can click on slice right here if it's grayed out you picked up more than two pieces or you only picked up one piece all right so we got the lightning bolt out of the way let's do this and see how my cursor is super thin because I don't want to grab that lightning bolt I want to just grab two pieces and you can continue using the same square as long as you know that that portion that you're using is clean like there's nothing else there like so all right so you want to get rid of all the slice results we don't need that and so now the reason why we we go through that exercise is because that was what six by 14 or something like that later when we go to the cut screen you could do this And now instead of a six by 16 piece, this is a seven by seven. And we can do better than this. I would just want to make a point. Um, okay, so that's the orange. Let's, the whites look like they're kind of hard to do. So let's, oh, and let me see what's going on with the white. A lot of little pieces. So like the white right here, I would want to weld those two pieces I don't know about this guitar thing if they're gonna make it onto the <laughs> sometimes like I let it go to you know cut on the mat and then once I get it out and they're so small I just toss them so that's gonna be a game time decision for you but let's move the white over for now we'll get back to it I'll zoom in and we'll work on that in a bit all right so here are the eyes let's slice up the eyes Slice results for the eyes now and just move it. Okay, next color. Here's the red. Let's do the same thing with the red. We are going to slice out the red. Um, and these pieces right here, they don't look so bad. You might want to just slice them together and keep them together. And I'll show you what I mean by that. So let's get rid of this. Later on the cut screen, you know, you could do something like this, right? And that's pretty efficient right there, like a five by five piece, okay? All right, so let's do the next color. Okay, so the yellow, we definitely wanted to weld these two pieces. We want to weld that piece together as well. Anywhere that we can reduce the number of pieces here, it will you will appreciate it in the end. <laughs> so let's bring in, um, and I'm gonna just zoom in so we can see what we're doing. Um, okay, so I'm gonna make this small. I'm gonna be even a little bit smaller. I'm gonna duplicate that circle and bring it over here as well. I'm going to weld it and then I have to do one more time. Okay. And just turn it back to yellow. 
I'm going to move it back so you can see what it looks like. There's no way that you would have known this was in two pieces as well as this. This one may be a little clunky. I probably could have done a better job doing that one. But, um, yeah, but this, this one looks great, right? <laughs> so let's uh, slice it out. So here we'll slice out this yellow. Oh, man. See, this was in the way, so let me undo that. You want to make sure when you're slicing that you only have the one piece that you want in the square and everything else outside of the square. And in this case, there were two yellow things in there. I wasn't paying attention. So let's do something like this. Okay, there we go. And oops. leg, the lightning bolt. Let's get rid of this. There's this one. Let's get rid of this. All right, so um, let's do the next color. So I'm going to zoom out for a second. Okay, let's do, so here's the green. I would weld these two pieces together and that looks like that's it. So let's grab a circle. I don't want to make it too obvious. All right, let's grab those two things, weld. Okay, now we'll slice it out. So let's do this. All right, so our pieces are out. Blue. Let's weld the shoes together, um, as well as this piece. So I'm going to zoom in in a second so we can see it a little bit better. Okay, so for our blue, I would definitely weld these two pieces together, these two pieces together, and then these two and these two. So it looks like we have quite a few to do. So let's do this, duplicate it. So, oops. Let's grab this and maybe put it right there. Let's do this one, same thing. And then I'm going to duplicate that. Let's move it up here. Let's make it really small and make sure those two pieces are welded together. Let's duplicate that. Now, if you really want to be good, you could grab like a triangle and make it really good right there. I think that's a pretty good job. And then let's go up here and do this guy and make it one piece. Okay, so now we're gonna grab, oh, undo for a second. Make sure you grab in the right place. Okay, there, I'm grabbing it like that. Okay, and weld. Oh, I didn't weld. Okay, so let's grab these two, weld. Okay, and just go back up into blue and it was a was it this blue I don't know it felt like it was a different blue I think it was this blue okay all right so now we need to slice out all these pieces okay so let's let's take a group um, a new rectangle or square and let's start slicing out all these things. I know it's such a chore, but um, as is, we wouldn't be able to cut it, right? It's a super long piece. Okay. Um, so let's get this guy right here. Oops. So we're just slicing out each little piece <laughs> so that it will cut Oh my gosh, this piece is so big that I keep 
moving it. And you see the tip right there? Hold on, you'll see it. It's sticking out, so you want to just move it over a little bit. Okay. So now we've got this piece out of the way. Let's get this one. work <laughs> but it's she's gonna look amazing um all right so now we gotta twist it a little bit to make sure that we only get what we want in there and shoot there oops twice We have a lot of pieces, so you want to continue doing this. Hold on. Let's turn this back over. Okay. So you see I didn't separate this. You can, but I feel like we have so much glue that the fact that these two are together, and there's not that much space wasted there, but um, it's up to you how much you want to slice out, okay? So let's slice out that little guy right there. And I'm tempted to leave this as is because technically it would fit on a 12 by 12 and then all our other pieces we would put in like this, right? And like this, okay? You may regret it. You may have to come back and slice out more to make sure it all fits on one page, but that's, I'm going to leave it for now because I think you get the picture. All right, so what do we have left? We, you want to do the same thing for the rest of the colors, and then we have the white that I wanted to talk about because the white had a lot of little pieces. So, um, all right, so this one, let me zoom out. We're going to have to keep slicing. <laughs> I know this one is a lot of colors and pieces. So normally at, you know, 30-some inches, like, if you look at Cinderella, she has just a two-color piece dress, so it's a lot easier. You know, Rainbow Dash has like five colors, a lot of lightning bolts, <laughs> so that's why it's taking a long time. Okay, so let's see. All right, this piece. Purple, I would, I would weld that together. There's no need for that to be in two pieces. Okay, make it small. Clean it over here, make it a little bit smaller. And weld that. Okay, all right, so now we have this. Okay, so we're gonna have to slice it out as well. Let's bring in, and we're almost done because we have just this color and the white left and then the black background. So let's just get this done. All right. And I might not slice up everything on this one. All right, maybe one, two. And the same thing with this.
And do you see how this is 11.99? So it's not going to let you cut, but if you um, twist it a little bit this way, now it's 10.6 by 10.7. So the way Design Space measures how big something is, it takes the most left point to the most right point, the most top point to the most bottom point. So you have um, an option of kind of like twisting your images a little bit, and that will help you sometimes. All right, so that's done. Um, we have the white left, so I'm gonna bring in a square, because I know we're gonna be slicing. I'm gonna move it over here. I'm gonna bring in a circle in case we need to weld, and then I'm zooming in, okay? All right, let's see what we have. Okay, so our white is here. What do we have? We have the eyes. Oh man, nothing to weld. They're just individual pieces, just this to weld right here. So let's grab our little circle. Let's move this square out of the way. All right. So this one, oh man, this is a lot of pieces. I don't know if you're going to be able to do all like five or six of the girls that came with this thing. <laughs> okay, let's grab those two things and weld it. Okay, so now it's one piece, right? Let's start slicing out this little guy. These pieces that we don't need, right? So we gotta grab them and delete it. And let's see what else we have. We have this little guy hanging out by himself. All right, so let's grab that guy, slice him out. And it's still a little bit. So let's just slice up these pieces right here for the guitar. And we'll keep them together as one piece, okay? Okay, so now all your white pieces, we can cut it on the, we can send it to the Cricut page to, you know, to cut it. So now we have just the background to deal with. So I'm gonna zoom back out and we are almost almost done so let me save it and i'm just going to move all this stuff over in a second okay i'm just going to grab it and just move it over to give us some space okay so here's our image she's 16 inches across 33 inches down so we're going to take a 12 we're cutting everything with a 12 by 12 piece of cardstock so i'm going to reduce the square down to 11 by 11. Okay, so bring in a square and we're going to change the width to 11, which makes the height 11, right? Because it's a square and it's locked. Um, okay, so we're just going to put it somewhere over here. Okay, covering, we know we're going to have two columns and three rows. So let's go over and just for the position feature for the X coordinate and a Y coordinate, the X coordinate is the one running across this way and the Y coordinate's running down. We're gonna change these numbers to whole numbers. So X is already at 13, so we're good. Y is at 8.056, just make it eight. So what we're saying is, we're telling Design Space, go over 13 units, go down eight units, and here's the start of our square, okay? Let's duplicate the square, put it close, to the first one, then you don't have to do any math. You can just round to the nearest whole number. So 24.2 becomes 24, and it's already at eight, so we're good. But I can show you the math behind it. So this, starting at 13, so 13 plus 11 is 24. <laughs> so now these two are flush, so we're gonna grab both of them. So hit the shift key, grab both squares. You can see over here in the right-hand side panel, they're both selected, duplicate it. And we're gonna put it right here. And again, go over here, change it from 13.1 to 13, 19.1 turns into 19. And now we have four flush squares. And it's important to have them flush because you don't want any 
um, overlays and you don't want any gaps. You want six puzzle pieces that you can push up against each other, tape it, and it'll look great. And then we'll put all these colors on top of it. That's basically how this is going to work. Okay, let's duplicate this last set so that we can get her legs. And just put it close enough there. And this one we're going to round up. 12.9 becomes 13. 30.22 becomes 30. Okay, so you can see the toes are peeking through. You can grab her here, or you can scroll down and grab her from here. Go to Arrange and send to the front. And now we're going to, oh, you know she's exactly 33 inches, so we need to make sure she's in there. Okay, let's zoom in a little bit to make sure that we like where everything is slicing, okay? We don't want anything hanging out by itself. So this looks like it's going to be one big piece. This is another big piece. I think everything looks good. I think he's bringing this up a little bit. Okay. All right. So let's slice one square at a time. So we're slicing her into six puzzle pieces, basically. Six pieces that the Cricut can cut. So like, for instance, this is 10.9 by 4.7, right? Let's slice this. Now when we're done slicing, I like to move everything over to where it should be. I kind of keep it in its original spot because I'm really bad at puzzles. And so this helps me know exactly which, which side is right side up, where it goes, and then grab all of this and delete it because we don't need it. All right, we're done. So let's save this one more time and let's go to the Make It screen so we can see what it looks like. Okay, good. Let's go to Make It. Um, Warning sign, but oh, is it this? Why is that? Okay, let's see. What does it say? Um, I don't have any warnings. Oh, this one right here. Oh, did I forget the rest of this? Okay. So yeah, so it gave us a warning. It's too long, it's 27. <laughs> okay, so let's bring in a square and slice up the rest of this. I, I guess I forgot about this piece. Okay, so to make it quick, I can slice out, let's slice out the middle here. I'm not gonna be as efficient with this one, okay? Just a warning. I do wanna show you a cool trick though. So I sliced out the middle of this yellow, right? And now we're left with these two pieces. Now, with these two pieces, instead of slicing, I want to show you contour. So with contour, you can do the same thing. You can break apart pieces or fill in pieces. But here, I want to break this into two, so I'm going to need to duplicate it. I need two copies of it to make it into two. So I'm going to click contour, and I'm just going to get rid of one. I'm going to deselect that one, and look, all I have left is my leg. And then on this one, I don't want the leg anymore, so I'm going to contour, and then I'm Deselect the leg, and then it's just the hair. Okay, so that's an easy way to contour as well. All right, now I think we can make it. So let's go to make it. Okay, so here are all our white pieces. Just click OK right over there. Uh, so this is a big white piece. We could do a better job. You just need to break out all those pieces, okay? Here is, oh, this piece we don't need anymore. I think this was a slice result that I forgot to delete. So. When this happens to you, you don't have to go back. You can just click on the three dots here and hide object, hide selected. Okay, so here's our black. Nice. I wonder, I wonder if I can fit this foot in. So if you want to try it, click on this, click on the three, move object, and I think I can get her to fit in there. Am I crazy? I think we could do this. And this one, let's look at this 
pray is leave that outside of all mine. Oh, there. Saved one piece of paper. Yay. <laughs> all right, so we've got, okay, so your black background is just three pieces. Nice, three sheets. Here's our orange, so you can move this. That's why we, I mean, some for some of it, we had to slice out things because the Cricut wasn't going to let you send it to the mat. But see, like, look how, how much more efficient this is. Next time, you can save it for a bigger piece that you can use for another project. Okay, so here's our yellow. What's on this? Oh, this yellow can fit on the other one. So click on the three dots. Let's move the object. Let's move it to the other yellow page. Okay, just make sure that you don't leave it here because it's going to cut out over the leg. So you want to make sure that you move it. You can make all this a little bit more efficient. Maybe next time, if you move everything up here, then next time you have this big block that you can reuse for something else. Or, or you could even have this block over here as well if you did it this way. Or, I wonder how... Yeah, you could do something like that, then you have one big block down here to save for next time. Okay, here's our green. So our green is a little long. Let's move it this way here. Okay, and then here's our blue, our light blue. Um, so if you're going to do this, I would probably do something like can save this big blue for next time. Okay. Um, here's a different blue. Okay. You can move all of these now that you know how to move things. Here's the purple. You know, you can move it in like this. And that's it. So I'm going to cancel out of this. So for the person that requested this, you have like four more girls to do exactly like this. I hope this was helpful. Please let me know if this didn't help or where you have questions, I'm totally available. For everyone else, I hope this was enjoyable and you can kind of learn and see how to do things. Um, if you have your own special requests, please let me know. So either on Instagram, Facebook, or YouTube. And um, thank you for subscribing and watching. All right, good night.